and then the Rouge River system back here when we delayed the TV used the nature programs. We're going to have nature trails out here, possibly canoeing opportunities along this part of the Rouge River system. This is Walnut Grove, and out here this afternoon between 4 and 6 o'clock, the two opposing forces have brought in their artillery and their cannons, and it's going to get loud down here, I guarantee you that. The village, by the way, this evening will remain open here until 9 p.m. While it is a Saturday, the Henry Ford Academy, of course, is not open for classes. But we have over 500 students enrolled here this year for grades 9 through 12. Most are Wayne County residents and are chosen on a lottery system basis. And the Pullman cars that were coming up shortly on our left-hand side, these are some of the classrooms for the students here at the Henry Ford Academy. We also have two other academies up and running over the past few years, one in the city of Chicago and the other down in San Antonio, Texas. We'd like to talk a little bit about the heroes here in the village that you can learn about today. In downtown Detroit, there were over 500 companies building this thing. The problem was, and the problem was the same with all of them, they were very, very expensive. The average person couldn't afford to buy an automobile for four, five, six, or seven thousand dollars. That was Henry's stated goal. I'm going to build one cheap enough so that the average man can have freedom and mobility for the very first time. He started out in 1903 with a Model A, and he went to a B the same year in 1903. By 1908, he had gotten to the letter T in the alphabet, and they started to build this car on Paquette Avenue on Detroit's east side. A handmade car for the first four years, where they could build approximately 70 a day. Not bad, but nothing like Highland Park, where they could build that car at 90 minutes. Three cars a minute would come off that assembly line and after 19 years, the Ford Motor Company had produced very close to 16 million. It was made on every continent on Earth save Antarctica. And it remains to this day the largest selling American car ever built using the same motor. And oh, by the way, there were three separate occasions when you could purchase a Model T for less than $300. You cannot buy one today for that price. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now safe to exit on your left-hand side. Going to be here for just four minutes and then underway.